Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I am back with another video. All right guys, so here's the seasonings I am going to use to make my taco meat. Some Tony's, some Italian, oregano, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, parsley, chili powder, cumin, gotta have that, red pepper flakes, and some basil and then we're going to be using about a pound of ground beef okay all right let's get this started because we have to fry up our um peach fritters okay with the vanilla lemon glaze over them so let's get started i forgot to tell you guys about my saison i am going to use one pack of this this is the best stuff and you have to use it when you fry your chicken and your pork chops okay Make sure you get to some of this, but I'm going to use one of these packages on the ground beef, okay? All right. Okay, I didn't cook much meat, so the taco meat is done, okay? So I'm going to cut it off because I don't want it to lose all the juice, all right? Let's get started on our fried peach pies. What's up, Philly Phil gang? I'm back. All right, guys. It's Taco Tuesday, but we are going to have us a nice little sweet treat with our tacos and margaritas, okay? So, we are making some of my fried peach pies or peach fritters, whatever you want to call them. I've chopped up, deep hit it, and chopped up uh, five whole um, peaches. <laughs> I've chopped up five peaches, real nice. I have a cup of brown sugar. going to use some cinnamon, nutmeg lemon and vanilla I already have that in these little bowls here you can see it then two tablespoons of butter so this has to reduce and cook down for about 30 minutes to get nice and sweet and juicy and then we are going to put them in our little okay guys sorry about that i had forgot the uh, goya then we're going to put them in the goya wrap these are the same ones that i use for my empanadas i can't find them here in little rock so i have to stock up when i go to chicago so that's why I don't cook and, and use these that often because I don't want to run out before my next visit. All right, let's get everything going on the stove and I will bring you guys back. I'm going to put these back in the fridge so they can stay cool because you don't want them to get wet or warm because then they won't, when you close them up, little holes will come in them and your filling will come out, okay? All right, let's get started. I will bring you guys back, okay? Okay, this is our peach filling for our peach pies. It's gonna cook down and get nice and thick, okay? Gotta let these cook down and get nice and tender. These were fresh peaches that I peeled, took the pit out and chopped them up. All right, bring you guys back when it's time to put them together, okay? All right, guys, I'm back. Let's put together our quick little icing for our peach fried peach pies. Two cups of confectioner's sugar, two tablespoons of butter, and then I have a teaspoon of lemon and vanilla, okay? And then you're going to just eyeball the whole milk. You don't, you want it to be a little thin so you can drizzle it, but not too thin and not too thick, okay? So let's start mixing this up. Well, one second, it doesn't want to come on. All right, sorry about that. I didn't have it plugged in all the way. Here we go. <laughs> sugar everywhere <laughs> I'm gonna have to learn how to be a little bit more neater but cooking live almost live with Philly Phil in the kitchen with Philly Phil here we go 
Okay, I want to get all that extra powdered sugar mixed in there. And scrape that off and the peaches are almost done. They have about another five minutes, okay? All right, mix it up nicely. And I have the grease one. Okay, I'm having some technical difficulties. <laughs> the uh, lights went out. Well, the plug came out, so everything went out. All right, let's finish this up here before something else happens. I think it messed up my lighting a little bit. It's sort of too bright now. I'll get it right. But I was saying that the grease is preheated to 375. So we're going to get ready to drop these peach fritters in a minute. Let's check it in. Let's see here. I want to mix it all up. See how it is. I think it's still just a little bit too thick, so I'm going to add a little bit more milk to it, okay? About a half a teaspoon. That ought to do it. All right, that ought to do it. And we drizzle this icing over those nice fried peach pies or peach fritters, whatever you want to call them. It's gonna be so good. Okay, let's see here. See, that's what I was looking for. That's the consistency. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, it is time to put our pies together. So here are the wraps, the Goya wraps. And I may not have enough filling for all 10 of these because these are some big wraps. But I really like to use all of them once I open them because they don't really fry up that well after you open them and put them back in the freezer. All right, so let's get started here. I'm gonna take one off. Oh, and these are the taco shells I'm using tonight for my tacos. I haven't tried this flavor before. Bold. Okay, move that out the way. So we're gonna stretch it just a little bit. See, they're nice and firm, sort of cool. That's what I was saying. Keep them, once you uh, thumb thaw them, let them sit in the fridge so they don't get really warm. Then once we deep fry them, we're going to take them out and sit them in here and let them drain. All right, let's put our filling in. Still a little warm, but I'm ready to eat. I would like for it to have cooled all the way down. Yeah. Um, can you all see it? Okay. I think I can add a little more filling to this. Okay. Just go around the edges. Then get your fork and seal that baby up, okay? Seal it up good. Okay. Then flip it over and seal the other side. You don't want your filling coming out, all right? I'm running out of room. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and drop this one real quick. The grease, fresh grease is preheated to 375. Go ahead and get another one started. Right here. So how are y'all doing? Are y'all having tacos on Taco Tuesday? Love me some good tacos, honey. Yes, indeed, and I have all the sides. Lettuce, tomato, cucumber, onions, cheese. Okay. A little bit more. Flip this one over. 
Can y'all see? Now we're going to seal it. Seal it up real good. Nice little peach pie. Okay. Looking good. And that's frying up really good. And we're going to drizzle it with our icing that we made, okay? Okay. I'll sit this one over here. I'm not going to put it in with that one. Okay, we get another wrap here, another Goya wrap. Do they sell Goya wraps where you're located? Like I said, they're hard to find here, this size. This is the grande, the large. Got these at Sir Max Grocery Store in Chi-Town. Who's from Chi-Town? Other than my four brothers. Wonder if they're watching my video. Okay. Let's get this one sealed up. No, I needed about 10 or 15 peaches. I only had six. They want the best peaches either. I guess it's not peach season right now. Uh-oh, I sort of pinched that one a little bit. Hopefully the filling won't come out. Let me see if I can fix it. Okay, this one's ready. And looks good, too. I'll show you guys in a minute. Let me get these other ones in here. Since I already have them ready to go. I'm going to put two in this time. One, two, drop those. All right, let me drizzle. While it's hot. See that? That is going to be so good. Let me get a napkin. Okay. All right, let's get ready to fix up another. We still have enough filling left for a couple more. All right. Water break. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm tripping, I know. All right, put this in here, flip this over. Can y'all see it? Now, that's better. And take your fork. Now flip it over and get that back side. Seal it up good. All right, got another one ready. Let's get one more ready. Those two are almost ready. Okay, put some more filling in this one. I think we're gonna have enough for one more. Yeah, I didn't have enough filling for 10. I hate that. Okay. I don't want them to get too dark. It doesn't take long. Okay. All right, I need to stop and take these out. Okay. And of course, I want to drizzle while they're hot so it'll become nice and caramelized. Okay? Look at that. Y'all see that? These are going to be so good. 
just like the kind you buy at the store, but better because these are made with love. Okay. All right, I'm almost through. I only have enough filling left for one more. If I knock over my Delta Sigma Theta glass. Okay. Here we go. Got two more ready. Okay. One. Two. Let's get the last one ready. Okay. Almost done. Almost time to eat some tacos. Yeah, we're gonna put the rest of this filling in here. It's not that much. Okay, flip that over. Go around. Okay. All right, we are getting there, guys. We're getting there. Are y'all gonna try this recipe? It's easy. If you don't have Goya wraps, just get you another can. Or you can make it homemade, but I didn't feel like doing that tonight. I have to travel tomorrow for the next couple of days with my job, so I won't be in my kitchen for about three, three days, guys. I'm gonna miss cooking for you guys, but I'll try to get in a mukbang or something, you know, just go pick up some food and who knows. We'll do something. I may go live. Now, if I go live, I need y'all to come check me out. I don't want to be on live all by myself, okay? Ain't no fun being alone. I know y'all ain't going to leave me hanging. I know y'all not going to leave your girl hanging. Y'all going to come through. Y'all look. Wait a minute. Look. Look at that. Hello. Hello, Susie. Look at that. Looking good. Looking good in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. These two are almost done. Yep. I want to know if y'all going to try them. A lot of y'all was liking my uh, neck bones and cabbage. That was good, too. Bake neck bones and put the cabbage in. Let it finish cooking in the oven. Hmm. Yes. I just, I needed some cornbread, but I got lazy and didn't feel like making it, so. Next time, I'll have us some homemade butter cornbread, okay, to go with our neck bones. We might have us some greens. Y'all eat greens? What kind y'all like? I like to mix all three. They do some good turnip greens with fresh turnips in them. Then you're really talking. All right, this is almost done. It's almost done. Let me flip that. Okay, take that out, take this one out, before I put the other one in, I want to drizzle, I like to, ooh, I told you I like to drizzle while it's hot, I want to make sure I get it, okay, here we go, can y'all see, let's get this one up here. Can't forget about that one. All right. Cover up those edges. Okay, let's put the last one down. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to let this one fry up. When I come back, we will sit down and eat our tacos and then have us a nice little treat, okay? See you guys in a minute. What's up, Philly Phil gang? I'm back with another video, tacos, and our, y'all saw me make them. Yes, you did. Look at here. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Yummy. I can't wait. Tacos with a dessert. And margaritas. It's Taco Tuesday. All right, guys. And this is, these are the uh, condiments that I have in them. Uh. Cheese, lettuce, purple onion, tomatoes, and cucumbers. Okay? We have some paste picante. 
We have some uh, guacamole salsa and some hot sauce. Yeah, hot sauce. Okay, since this one wants to fall over, I'm going to go ahead and start on this one. This is those uh, nacho shells. I've never had uh, used these before, so we're going to see what it tastes like. What, how y'all doing? Are y'all having tacos today? If so, what kind are you having? I like to do um, steak tacos every now and then as well, and chicken. But I just went with regular beef. Beef is my favorite overall. All right. Let's take a bite into one of these tacos. And we have some little lime. I don't think you can see it. Hmm. There's everything. You can't see it all, huh? Hmm. Oh, well. It's here. Let's take us a nice bite of this taco. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Mmm. They're nice and moist. The juice is running out of them. They're not dry. Good. Mmm. Look at that. See it dripping? Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Onion and cucumber. Y'all know I didn't start putting cucumbers on my tacos until I saw B Love do it. I'm a, I ain't never thought of that. Look at here. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Here we go. Mmm. 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 Mm, mm, mm. I forgot to buy sour cream. I used it all the other day bake, making my baked spaghetti and cheese. That's all this taco is missing. Mm, mm, mm. These shells are good. They're better than the regular ones. I don't know what took me so long. Mm. Mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Finger looking good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. You eat them on a clean board. Oops. I don't want my filling falling out. So you can... Well, I'm just going to put that on that one. I'll just do that like that. Mmm. Stack it up. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, this is so good. Can't get my napkins for paper towels. I mean, it's so good. Yeah, so I told you guys I have to travel with my job. I'll be gone out of my kitchen for three days. I won't be back until Friday. But I'm going to try and get something in. You know I will. You know Philly Bill will find a way. I don't know what I'll do. I'll do a mukbang or something. Or I may go live. If I go live, I want y'all to come and join me, okay? Don't leave me hanging. Is this your first time stopping by my channel? Welcome back. Welcome. If it is, if not, welcome back. Thank you again to all my new subscribers. Woo! I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. I am so thankful. Not taking anything for granted. I'm going to try and do my best and give you guys good content, okay? I'm going to keep cooking mug banging challenges let me know what you want me to do you know if you want me to try something put it out there let me know leave it in the comments i read all of my comments thank you guys i did have someone ask me for some shout outs i was too busy trying to cook this when i got off work so i will give some shout outs thank you to everyone i'm shouting out to everybody <laughs> all right you know what i need you to do i need you to like this video okay i need you to like it now leave me a comment now Share the video and then make sure you're subscribed. All right. All right. Let me try another taco here. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Put me this hot sauce is good on here. What you guys think about what I used in my um meat to season it? Cumin is, is what makes it. That cumin gives it such a good flavor. 
You don't need to use any taco packets. You can make your own. Make it as spicy as you want. You know, do what you want to do. Mm. Look at that one. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that, guys. All right. I got cheese all over here. I don't want, I want all of it on there. It's a big old taco. Here we go. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Hmm. That's good. Have a bite. Ooh, I'm wasting it. I'm gonna eat that. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I'm making a mess. Well, if you're not making a mess, it's not real good, is it? <laughs> mm. So, how was y'all Tuesday? Is your week going good so far? I'm having a blessed one. Every day you wake up, you're blessed, but I'm having, it's going really good. Mm, 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 mm. This taco shell, guys, oh, it's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. Mm. That's good. Homemade tacos on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. Yes, indeed. Mm. Oh, I am getting full. All right. I got to try. Let me show it to y'all again. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Let me get one. Get one with a lot of icing. Look at that. All right, let's take us a bite. Mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I taste that cinnamon. Nutmeg, the lemon I put in there. Look at that. Y'all know that's pretty. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness. And that icing I put on it, you guys saw me make it. It just takes it up another lot. It takes it to another level. Now I'm going to be tell you, gotta give you a secret, tell you a secret. I really don't like cooked peaches and pears and apples, but. These are cooked down and so caramelized. I really can't even taste nothing but just the the filling, you know, just the the seasonings of it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Look at that. This is good. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. You have to try it. You have to try that recipe, okay? Let me know. Here, have one. Take one. I got to get rid of them. I'm not eating any more of these. <laughs> oh, guys. I got to get myself ready because I got to get out here in the morning. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. I hope you enjoyed Taco Tuesday with me with margaritas and a dessert. I will see you guys again real soon. 
Okay, as I always say, you never know where I'll be, what I'm cooking in my kitchen, who I'll have in the kitchen with me. But one thing you can count on, you are always welcome in my kitchen. Don't y'all go nowhere, okay? Oh, <laughs> making myself laugh. All right. Don't you guys go nowhere. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys. Yeah.